This is the museum robbery in Jailbreak. It's one of the few robberies in Jailbreak that actually requires more than one person to be able to rob it. To complete the robbery, you have to be able to pull the levers at the same time with a second person. But if you play a lot, you've probably had it happen where someone dies in the museum and you're left alone. Then the museum becomes a prison. You're stuck inside it and you can't do anything. But what if there was a way around that? That's what I'm going to be covering in this video. The best ways and also some weird ways to solo the museum. And by solo, I just mean skip the puzzles because you still need an alt to be able to pull both the levers at the top to open it. Anyway, this is the first way, probably one of my favorite ways and also the most effective, I would say, the banana drop. You just want to drive your banana car right to the edge of the hole and once it starts tipping, you just drive as fast as you can and it will go into the corner on the inside of the museum. Then after you grab your money, all you have to do is jump up the banana car and then you've skipped the whole museum robbery. I use this one almost every time I rob museum unless it's already opened by other people. I will say it can be tricky getting the right positioning whenever you're dropping the banana car into the entrance but it still beats the old way, which was using the pickup truck. It's the same exact thing. You drop the pickup truck in and then you can use it to jump out. The pickup truck is a little bit worse because you have to jump out before it goes into the entrance. It won't automatically kick you out. You'll get stuck in the pickup unlike the banana car, which automatically kicks you out once it's in the entrance. But if you don't have banana car, as you can see, the pickup truck works just fine. This glitch has definitely been around for a very long time and it's pretty effective. And the next one is a little bit primitive. It's just jumping on top of a buddy's head and you can get out with a little bit of boost. I do this one sometimes because I leave my alt and then I just go to another server, but this method leaves one person stuck in the museum. I wanted to show this one, it's been around forever, it's the rope pull, you just have someone else drag you out. This one is really safe, but it takes a person missing out on museum to make it work. And here's another vehicle one, I've never really seen this one, maybe I've made it up, but uh, you put your escape bot in, you want to make sure the rubble is gone before you drop the escape bot in, otherwise it will fall down the stairs. This one only works if you're the last person in the robbery. Anyways, for the next one, you can use the jetpack. It's definitely really hard to get it to work right because it doesn't work in the museum, but if you jump up high enough, it will let you use it. And finally, one that I'm pretty sure that I made up as well. I've never seen anyone do this, but I've seen this technique used elsewhere. It's a C4 jump to get out. And I know what you might be saying, I don't have my bag now, but you can actually drop a gun and then pick it back up and it will give you your bag back. This is the one I would use if I got stuck in the museum by myself. And here it is again, you just drop your bag and then put your C4 on this little corner right where the hole is. And then right before you detonate it, you just want to jump so it pushes you a little bit higher. If you time it right, you should clear the hole, but anyways, it will kick you out afterwards. And then you'll see I don't have my bag, but then I drop a gun and pick it back up and my bag is magically back. Definitely a unique way to get out of the museum, but that one was pretty practical. And then I use this visual glitch for the thumbnail. You can drop items and then pick them back up and then it kind of duplicates the bag. Even though you can only cache one of them, it's still a cool visual glitch. Anyways, the museum has a lot of ways to get out of it, so let me know if you know any other ones that I didn't mention. But besides that, thank you for watching, and here's some more jailbreak videos you might like to watch. And I'm going to get back to grinding my Hyper Orange 5. Anyways, have a good day.